What's up guys, it's Kieran, welcome back to my channel and welcome to a week in my life as a doctor on general surgery. So if you watched my last video, you'll know that I got back from Egypt last week and then I was actually on call over the weekend and today is currently Tuesday the 6th of June. So safe to say I'm kind of exhausted because as an F1, if you work through the weekend on general surgery, you don't get any days off. So technically if I didn't have annual leave last week, I would have worked from Monday through the weekend and all the way to the next Friday so it ends up being a 12 day week which is absolutely exhausting and at least three of those days are long days so 12 hour shifts and usually it's more than that so technically I was on call Friday through to Sunday and then this week I'm also on call on Thursday so it does end up being a lot but I kind of wanted to pick up the camera get back into the swing of things because I haven't really had the chance to do any kind of reset because like I said I've been stuck at work and I just want to focus on getting back into a routine this week week, focusing on being positive, taking care of myself, all of those healthy well-being things. So I hope you enjoyed this video and let's get into it. Okay, it is currently 6pm. I've had a fairly uneventful day at work but I'm very thankful because I have plans this evening to go out with some of the other juniors and also some medical students that we've got here and I can't wait I feel like I've been out of civilization for a few days now and it'd be nice to just socialize have some fun we are going to grab some food and head to a pub quiz which I feel like is such a fun Tuesday evening activity so I'm just getting ready for that I really enjoy getting ready for evening plans now I feel like ever since I did that every night in Egypt I just really enjoy the process of making myself feel good experimenting with like the eyeshadow and makeup that I want to wear and it just makes me feel put together and like I've made an effort with myself I feel like it's always a testament to how you're doing kind of mentally when you make an effort with your appearance if that makes sense or for me it is anyway because I know when I'm feeling really down I stop making the effort like my hair goes up in a bun no makeup is worn ever and like if it's really bad you know I'm sure lots of people have dealt with it where they can't even get out of bed they don't even want to shower that kind of stuff so I feel like I'm in a really good place I'm enjoying just getting myself ready feeling good about myself again just trying to stay positive and do the little things that make myself feel good and make sure that my life is enjoyable and I'll get into this at some point in the video but long story short I can't say that I'm enjoying general surgery as much as I wanted to and I loved my past two rotations so the fact that my last one here isn't my favourite kind of it gets to me and so I'm trying to find little things generally in my life that make me feel good and feel better and feel happy and so I got myself ready curled my hair today as well before work which I'm really like I don't know I'm just proud of and happy with I feel like maybe that sounds a bit dramatic but it's the little things in life and I'm very proud of myself for getting through what I am going through and like I said I'll explain it at some point but right now I am just excited to go out for the evening with my friends have a nice light-hearted sociable evening okay quick outfit of the night because I am running late as per usual my oversized shirt is from ASOS I'm wearing skinny jeans from H&M and then I actually got this cute little shoulder bag from TK Maxx
is currently 4.30 and I've just finished up at work. I figured I would head straight to the gym while I still feel like I've got the energy. So I'm gonna smash out a lower body workout and then get on with a nice chill evening. Okay, I just got back and showered up and I just wanted to say over the weekend, I somehow managed to do two loads of laundry and I'm very impressed with myself because I was so busy at work. So I don't even know how I did that, but I'm just gonna put the remaining stuff away because it's most definitely dry now and then I'm gonna meal prep some food for the rest of the week because on Monday I actually did a huge grocery restock which I will insert here. Okay, I have a few ideas for meals that I wanna make this week. First things first, I just got some fruit for breakfast. So I got strawberries and blueberries to have with Greek yogurt. For lunches, I'm thinking I wanna make some kind of big yummy salad to eat with homemade black bean and sweet potato burgers. So for that, I obviously got all of the salad bits including romaine lettuce i got some baby cucumbers i find these are more crunchy than the normal cucumbers so i always get those baby plum tomatoes and then to make the actual burgers i got a couple of cans of black beans one can of sweet corn one white onion i think i'll probably throw in a red onion as well some grated cheese and obviously one huge sweet potato and then in terms of dressings for the salad i just stocked up on some more light mayo and then i grabbed this thousand island dressing which i thought would be a really nice combination and then the next meal that I kind of want to create is a healthier version of a meatball sub. So for that, I got these veggie gluten-free meatballs, which I've actually tried before and they taste amazing. I would definitely recommend. I found this gluten-free ciabatta bread, which looked incredible. So I picked that up. I also got these par-baked baguettes, which looked really good. And I kind of want to do it where I melt the mozzarella on the ciabatta with some pesto. So obviously for that, I got some fresh mozzarella and some reduced fat pesto. Pesto. And then the last meal that I want to make for this week is a roast. I've been craving a roast so badly recently, so I figured I would just get the stuff and make it. So for that, I got this corn log. We actually get this at Christmas time and it's so nostalgic to me. So I picked that up. I picked up some veggie gravy because I didn't have any. And then I got some broccoli because I love broccoli with a roast. And then the last couple things I got were just some more coffee pods. These ones I've never actually tried before before but they are the americano espresso pods which i think will be better to use for iced coffees so i'm going to try those out and then i just got myself some milk so for the black bean burgers i'm starting off by peeling and parboiling my sweet potato and while that's being done i'm going to dice up one whole white onion half a red onion and half a bell pepper and just saute them all together then it's basically just the case of mashing all the ingredients together. So I'm starting off with one can of sweet corn and one can of black beans, adding in my sweet potato, which kind of just binds everything together. And lastly, adding in my sauteed veg before seasoning everything. I'm using garlic powder, Italian seasoning, chili flakes, salt, then adding in a handful of grated cheese and combining everything together. Then I'm just using my hands to form the mixture into little burger patties before checking them in the oven for about half an hour and then just to make sure they're less likely to fall apart i'm finishing off by pan frying them and here is dinner for tonight so i've just paired the black bean and sweet potato burger with some salad so i cut up some lettuce tomatoes cucumber a bit of red onion a bell pepper some black olives and then i just dressed it with some light mayo and thousand island dressing and i cannot wait to dig in Okay, happy Thursday. It's currently 3 p.m. and I've only just come back from my lunch break. I'm actually on call today, which explains why I'm having lunch so late, but I figured I'd explain what an on-call shift as an F1 in surgery actually entails because it's really different to a normal working day and also it differs quite a lot in terms of surgery versus medicine on-call shifts. So basically as the F1 on-call, I'm in charge of all of the GP referrals. So if a GP feels like a patient has a surgical issue they will call my registrar who will either accept or deny the patient if he accepts them they will come to the hospital and I'm the first one that sees them so I will take their bloods put a cannula if they need it clerk them in get the full history examination all of that and then I will rediscuss it with my reg he'll tell me if I need to do any more investigations order any scans if we need to admit the patient or discharge the patient and at some point he will also come and 
examine them, decide for himself, just kind of lay eyes on the patient. So it's very systematic and that's something that I absolutely love about our surgical on-call is everything is very organised because a normal working day working on the ward is the complete opposite and this is kind of something I wanted to touch on because I like to be as real and raw and honest as possible on this channel if not to just help other people and inspire other people but also just because you know this is my life and it's real. If I'm being honest, a lot of things on surgery bothers me and I can't say that I love it. It's definitely not my favourite rotation. Probably like four out of five days of the week I'm pretty much hating my job and I've come to terms with the fact that you're not always going to enjoy the rotations that you have and I got really lucky with my first two in terms of just the fact that I loved them and they're very different. In surgery, Junior doctors do not get a lot of responsibility and that's not what I'm used to. I'm used to forming management plans for patients and communicating with them, discussing things with the families and I've loved it. I loved doing that on medicine, it was one of my favourite things. I loved that people trusted me and I had the responsibility and I always knew to escalate if I felt uncomfortable and I always asked for help when I needed it. But I loved the fact that I learned so much because I was always doing and you don't get to do that on surgery. You are criticised and questioned constantly. That's why I like being on call so much because it's actually the only time you get any responsibility to do anything and that's just the way it is. I've really fought hard against feeling the way I feel. I've tried so hard to just stay positive and go into every day thinking it's going to be a good day but unfortunately I've been coming out of every day realising it was a fucking shit day and that sucks, it really sucks and I'm coming to terms with the fact that this rotation is just not for me, this is not a good fit for me, the system in surgery is not a good fit for me and that is so okay but I have two more months to go through it and I need to figure out ways that I can cope and survive and still come out of the day feeling proud of myself because the thing that made me want to go into medicine and become a doctor is helping people and the patients are my favourite part of every day when I get to connect to people and care for them and make sure that they're receiving the best treatment possible that's what makes me feel good about myself and sometimes I'm made to feel really guilty about that on surgery. If I implement any kind of treatment, I now have an insane amount of anxiety about what people are gonna tell me, what they're gonna say to me, if I'm gonna get in trouble. It's actually just astounding how much anxiety this placement has caused me and it's very unfair, but I wanna be really honest about it because not everything is okay all of the time and that is completely okay. I'm just stuck in an environment at the moment where regardless of if I know or other people know that I'm a good doctor or not, I will constantly just be criticised and a lot of it is not constructive. I am so open to people telling me how to improve but when it's just that like people are having a go at you for very little, if not no reason, it can really get to you and I have been struggling the last couple of months so I know that like in my Egypt vlog I mentioned that work has been very anxiety inducing and I really needed a holiday and that was very accurate because every day I just have panic attacks or I cry I'm so emotionally overwhelmed and burnt out that it's made me not want to do anything, it's made me not want to vlog, I don't really want to document this time in my life because it's not like I'm really 100% enjoying it and I also just want to be positive, I don't want to be putting out online like really negative, sad, depressing things, I want to be inspiring to other people but at the same time I think it's important to know if you're going into medicine that you are not going to enjoy every aspect of it and I was probably a bit foolish to have the hope that I would enjoy every single one of my rotations. Every day I'm just trying to find the positives in my life, I'm trying to socialise with other people, make sure I don't start to isolate myself. I'm very much in protective mode because I don't want to let myself spiral into like a worsening state of mental health like I'm really trying to look after myself and put an emphasis on self-care which is probably why all my vlogs are kind of themed around self-care but I just really wanted to be honest about that I think it's really important 
that people know and are aware that it's okay if life sucks sometimes. I'm hoping that by the time I leave, things have changed so that the next group of F1s and F2s that go into surgery have a better time than I did and that's all I can hope for really. So I'm going to make myself some lunch and then I need to head back into work because there's actually quite a few patients that have come in today. Like I said, I deal with all of the GP referrals, so an on-call shift can be very hit or miss because you can either get like 10 referrals in one day or you can get one or zero. I have actually had one day on call where I got zero referrals so in that case I just helped out everybody else on the ward but today I've had four so far and it's been hectic because they all just arrive at the same time and they all need seeing too and I feel really bad when they have to wait which is why I haven't had lunch yet because I've been trying to see them all before I have lunch. So I'm gonna make myself some lunch and then get back to it. So for lunch today, I've just quickly whipped up a veggie meatball sub. So I've got on some gluten-free ciabatta bread, some pesto, mozzarella, caramelized onions, obviously the veggie meatballs and a little bit of mayo. So I'm gonna dig into this because I am absolutely starving. Good morning and happy Friday. I can't actually believe that I've made it through a nine day week, four of which were 12 hour days, which is absolutely insane to think about. But today is gonna be a good one. I'm putting it out there. We've got teaching in the morning and then I'll get on with my ward round and my jobs. And next thing you know, it'll be a weekend, which I can't wait for. I've got no plans. I'm just gonna relax and recuperate, get some kind of reset things done, which to be fair, for the most part, I've done this week. I did my laundry, I did my grocery shop, I did my meal prep. I kind of just want to tidy up around and mostly chill for the weekend. So I'm looking forward to that, but let's get today done. <music> just continue this vlog into the weekend so happy Saturday I had a mega lion this morning which was so nice I've been so exhausted in the last few days and then I headed to the gym for a really good upper body workout my current goal is to work out three times a week I used to aim for four to six times a week and to be honest with my workload and my rota and just generally trying to find a balance in my life that's just not a realistic goal so three times a week is hitting the sweet spot I do one upper body one lower body and one cardio and abs day and it works it's really nice I feel balanced I feel like I'm still taking care of my mental health and my physical health but also not letting myself burn out so I'm really proud of myself I'm on track as long as I do my cardio day tomorrow which I plan on doing so for the rest of today I really wanted to go to the beach in my head I had the idea of just lying on the beach reading my book for a few hours and truly just relaxing but obviously it's now raining all week it's been gorgeous outside and as soon as I have a day off it starts raining it's very gloomy outside but I figured I'd still head to the area and just go to lunch at my favorite Italian restaurant by the beach instead I will take my laptop and just get some editing done because I want to get out of the room I love the fact that I've got no plans this weekend and that I'm just here doing nothing but I can't just stay in this room for hours on end it's extremely boring so I'm gonna get out get some fresh air and enjoy a nice little lunch date with myself and that's pretty much my only plan for today I'll see where the evening takes me I don't know if anybody is actually still in the hospital so I'm not sure I'll have any like actual social plans this weekend but that's absolutely fine I love spending time by myself and I think that's very healthy so let's go to the beach Happy 
Sunday. It's literally about 2 p.m. I've spent all morning in bed just relaxing, watching Netflix, but now I want to head to the gym for my cardio day. So I've popped a hair mask in to let it sit for an hour or two while I go work out, and then I'm gonna have a nice long admin shower. I need to shave my legs, exfoliate, all of the things. So it's gonna be a good self-care day. For dinner, we've got a nice big summery salad that I cannot wait to dig into. I've got a lot of good stuff in here. Okay, I think I'm gonna end this video off here because I'm pretty much gonna spend the rest of the night doing nothing, but I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then please subscribe for more and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.